So most of us know that in a couple of years time, let's say in 150 years time, our grandchildren would like our history because they want to know how we lived, our names, believe it or not, if it's not written down, it's forgotten. But there's one more thing you may not have thought about, which is another reason you must write your story. What am I talking about? Well, it's very nicely illustrated in several biographies out there, several autobiographies. If you look at the story of, um, talk about some very famous ones, Nelson Mandela's Long Walk to Freedom, former First Lady Michelle Obama's uh, Becoming, there's something that is emphasized in every single one of those stories. And that is that all of us, our stories actually are put together or are a sum total of stories of several individuals. So I can never write my story without having something about my father's life history. I could never write my story without something about my mother's history. In the same way, in 150 years time, there is somebody in the world who needs your story as part of their story. So how does it feel to get to a point where you want to write and discover that a huge chunk of your story is missing because somebody never wrote anything down. Friends, that's another reason why it's so important to make sure we have a written account of our experiences. And yeah, it may not be important to every single person, but I dare say there's gonna be one of your descendants for whom it is actually important that they can say, this is how my great grandmother lived. This was her name. This is where she went. This is where she was born and where she lived and what she did for, for a job and how she died. And basically having her life experiences to add to mine, to say, this is how she did things. And maybe this is why I do things this way. Turns out, here's a fun fact. I am fairly squeamish, so I get easily disgusted by things. And turns out my grandmother was like that, my father's mother. <laughs> I didn't know that. It was my dad who told me, yeah, you're squeamish like your grandmother. So every single one of us has something from someone. I happen to have very long fingers. Turns out my paternal grandfather had very long fingers. And I saw that actually um, in a picture, his wedding picture from the early 40s and i was like oh that's where those long fingers come from no i don't play the piano i'm sorry it's a waste of long fingers <laughs> but they actually come from my grandfather so you know obviously those are some very fun uh, experiences and fun examples i should say but yes remember that your life history is part of somebody else's life history you are the only father they have you are the only mother the only paternal grandmother, the only aunt, whatever your name is, okay? So do not underestimate the importance of having your story to be written and to be part of somebody else's uh, future write-up and how devastating, I have to say, it will be to have a huge chunk missing because you didn't write yours down. I'll see you in my next video. As usual, love to know what you think. Please leave a comment below and take care.